ever wanted to combine all your Excel tables quickly and easily and then be able to automatically add those as you uh, add more data to your spreadsheet? Well, it's easy with Power Query. Watch this little trick. So I've got three tables on here at the moment. I've got January, February, and March actuals, sales actuals, and they're in a table, and that table, on this table design, I've given each table an appropriate name, so I've got January, and then February, and March accordingly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the data ribbon. I'm gonna do get data from other sources. I'm gonna click blank query. And then I'm gonna start typing equals Excel. And I'm gonna choose this Excel.current workbook. I'm gonna do an open bracket, a close bracket, and then click the tick. And then I'm gonna click this outward facing arrows here. There's two outward facing arrows like so. I'm going to untick the use original column name as a prefix. I'm going to click OK. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this column to be a date. So I'm going to select it. On the data type on the home ribbon, I'm going to change that to a date. Yeah. And then I'm going to change the actuals to be a currency. And then I'm going to rename this query to be sales data like so and hit return and I'm going to do close and load like so so I've now got 61 rows I'm just going to select this column D and go home let's make that a currency and now if I just test this and do refresh data look what happens I'm going to do data refresh all and you can see now this has gone to 121 rows. That's because at the moment it's including these three tables and including this query table as well. So I just need to amend that. So I'm going to right click on sales data over here in the queries and connections. Click edit. And I'm simply just going to click on the name column and I'm going to make sure I deselect the table that's got all the data in. My query table and click OK and click close and load and boom and there you go so now let's add another table let's add April's actuals so I've now added April uh, sales here like so so again all I'm going to do so I've got 60 rows I'm going to do refresh all and it's done it's added those April data there like so Check out the Change Tips and Tools channel for more great tips and don't forget to subscribe.